Hello everyone, this is Bubba Duck Funkin here. Yo, how's it hanging everyone? This is Green Socko 17 and we're both here to rip WWE a super huge mega fucking asshole. Now this has been a long time coming. Me and Green Psycho 17 doing a huge rap video together on the same screen at the same time. People have been asking this for years. Well this is it everyone. Let's do this shit Green. Yeah, I'm ready motherfucker. Let's get this shit started. Yay! Now before we begin, children and PG defenders out there, you might want to click out this video right now. We are going to bash WWE like a fucking PG pinata from hell. So that's our one and only warning to you all. Alright? Yeah. Okay then, let's dive right into this fucking shit! So what should we talk about first? Hmm, got any ideas Green? Yeah, let's start off with the PG rating. Okay, good idea. PG is a nasty, trashy, pussy-ass rating that needs to go. The product is shit because of it. Yes, PG is the main fucking goddamn reason why WWE sucks now. Because WWE uses that gay-ass rating as an excuse to be shitty. Oh, but wait, Green. Back in the day, WWE was PG, and people still liked it. I don't give a fuck about PG back in the day. It's the PG now that needs to go. Like I said, WWE and Vince McCuck can't use that rating as an excuse to fill the show with pussified gayness. Everything is childish, PG is handcuffs, and it's poison to the entire company. And because of this PG poison, we had to deal with seeing all sorts of gay shit. We got promos about Jack and the Beanstalk, fucking Tater Tots, you had the fucking Muppets on there, Pee Wee Harmon, Grumpy Cat, Jeffrey the fucking Toys R Us Giraffe, and superstars that were once great become a fucking joke, like Kane. <laughs> poor, poor Kane. I'm gonna go to Toys R Us right now. Oh, that fucking segment with Kane and Jeffrey their draft. That shit made me sick to my fucking stomach. Yeah, you're right, Green. PG needs to go. It has ruined the business. The PG back then and the PG today are totally different. PG is not okay, everyone. It is not okay at all. I don't give a fuck who says it is. PG is trash. Pussified fuck cock sucking trash. Why do you think most adults turn out the show? Because when adults see that PG shit logo on the screen, they can't take it seriously. Well, some people say PG is not the problem. It's creative. Yeah, part of that is true. But guess what? The creative used PG as an excuse to water down the show. So yeah, get rid of the fucking PG rating. Then creative will have any restrictions or excuses to write pussy ass gay storylines. Anything else you want to add, Green? Yeah, also PG restricts the superstars. They always have to memorize some bullshit script. And you can tell that's what they're doing. Just let the motherfuckers be themselves, WWE. I bet you if Roman Reigns didn't have to memorize a fucking PG script and just be himself, I guarantee you all that more people would start to like him. So what the fuck? It's fucking bullshit, man. It's fucking bullshit. Exactly! WWE, let the wrestlers be themselves, okay? Stop telling them to memorize a fucking gay ass script! This is exactly why stars will never compare to stars like Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, The Undertaker, Mankind, and so many others! Just more retarded ass bullshit caused by the PG rating! Also, another reason for it is because if they let the stars be themselves, they might say something that might offend the PG viewers! God damn, this shit pisses me off! <laughs> Anyway, let's talk about the next thing. NXT. People wonder why why we don't watch NXT. Okay, here's the thing. NXT is a pretty good show. We've watched a few episodes in the past. You got wrestlers on there that can put on some really great matches and shit. But let's say there were a couple of wrestlers on there that we really liked and got behind 100% because they're fucking great on the mic and fucking great in the ring. But then they would go to the main roster and then they would get buried. So what was the point of becoming a fan in the first place? Fuck that shit. NXT is just a breeding ground for jobbers. I hate saying that, but it's fucking true. When fans get behind a wrestler in NXT and then they come to the main roster, most of them get buried and treated like shit. And you know it. We're not going to fucking waste our time getting behind a wrestler on NXT just to see him get buried on Raw and SmackDown. But NXT is not a bad show, okay? Ugh, fuck. That's right, motherfucker. Preach it. Anyway, Green, let's talk about WWE being a publicly traded company. Oh, uh, what the fuck? 
Okay, that's another big problem. The WWE should have never went public. They never needed to. They were already making shit tons of money. And they were already well known around the world. But for some reason, Vince thought by taking his company public, it would expand it. Whoa! That's because over time, Vince started becoming more retarded. The son of a bitch thought by going public, it would make things better. But in reality, it made things worse. Now the motherfucker has to answer to shareholders and shit. Because now he's partnered with all kinds of soft-ass companies. Ones like Mattel. Now they can't do anything hardcore or it might upset the sponsors. Fuck that retarded shit. WWE used to be so great before it went public. You had badass storylines, awesome superstars, great matches, you had blood, hot sexy diva action, you know, good shit that real men like. Now we mostly have soft motherfucking My Little Pony PG baby shit garbage. And it's all for nine year olds and their fucking soccer moms. Thanks Vince Big Hitler for taking your company public. Thanks a lot cocksucker. What the everlasting ass crack. Back then, WWE shows had me on the edge of my seat. I used to be super pumped to watch it, especially Monday Night Raw. There were a lot of exciting moments on there that had my heart racing like a motherfucking race car. But now I don't give a fuck. I can't even remember the last time I even tuned into one of WWE shows. Nothing exciting on there at all. Just a bunch of retarded ass childish baby back possum shit. Urgh, it's fucking bullshit, man. It's fucking bullshit. Amen, brother. WWE shows are terrible these days. The only times I get excited at all is when Brock Lesnar shows up. But I had to look those clips of him up on YouTube because I would not watch three hours of PG horse shit just to see a few parts. And it's fucking sad, man. The show got gayer each time. If only Vince never took his company public, things would be so much better right now. And he should never turn a PG. Anyway, I have something else to talk about that's gonna piss everyone off. A little bitch named Kevin Dunn. This, everyone, is what you call shit weasel. A butt tooth motherfucking cut shit weasel. I can't stand this motherfucker. This is the slut that whispers into McMahon's ear. He also blows in it as well. He tells Vince exactly what he wants to hear. And he supports PG all the way. He's also known for ruining superstars' careers. Fuck you, Kevin Dunn. I hope you get raped by a group of silverbacks. Fuck you, you beaver tooth dick riding whore. Yeah, Kevin Dunn is a little bitch. He's Vince McHitler's number one PG. PG dick sucker. This guy's one of the biggest problems in WWE that needs to go. Fuck you, Kevin Dunn. WWE, please remove this cocksucker out of the company. I'm begging you. Please. Please. <laughs> also, there's another douche ass that pisses us all off even more. And I'm talking about none other than Michael Cole. Oh, fuck. Not this little shit. Yep. Anyway, this motherfucker is an ass kisser and sucks Vince and Hitler's pussy. He's also a JR ripoff. And he thinks he's the voice of the WWE. But everyone knows he's a complete shitbag. He's not funny, he's not entertaining, and his commentary sucks ass. Yeah, the rest of the announced team sucks as well. You got JBL saying, Maggle, Maggle. And then you have Jerry the King Lawler getting horny over Diet Do. Diet Do, Diet Do, drink it, Diet Do. Shut the fuck up, King. Holy shit. But Michael Cole is the worst of them all. Oh no, John. Be sure to check out the WWE app. Look, he caught him. Hashtag if you want to lick my PG nipples. He's having fun. Oh God, I can't stand listening to this hoe. When I actually do tune in the Raw every few months, I have to mute the channel because I don't want to hear this cocksucker speak. His voice is so goddamn annoying. <laughs> Fuck you, Michael Cole. Yeah, it's fucking bullshit, man. It's fucking bullshit. Fuck you, Michael Cole. Go lick Vince McCunk Cancer's pussy some more, you PG supporting brown nosed piece of shit. Now I'm gonna cover this next one. The fucking road schedule and house shows. This ass garbage really boils my shit nuggets. Wrestlers are constantly on the road all the time. They never can spend time with their fucking families. They're constantly performing at house shows most of the time. And as a result of that, they get injured. Traveling 250 to 300 days a year. What the fuck? No wonder those guys are always getting fucked up all the time. So here's what I have to say to you, Vince McPussyhoe. Reduce your fucking road schedule and reduce these fucking wasting time house shows. I don't care if they get paid more and shit. They kill themselves. Fuck you, you sick piece of shit. Remember this, asshole. Your superstars, I mean wrestlers, are not pieces of meat. They're fucking human beings, all right? God damn, you need to retire. Go to hell, carpet muncher. That's why WWE is a toxic environment. It's not a place for fun anymore. It's slavery. So fuck it. 
All right, that pretty much sums that shit up. Okay, next thing. WWE Raw's low ratings. Now, this shit shouldn't be happening. Especially on WWE's main flagship show. Back in the Attitude Era and the Ruthless Aggression Era, the ratings were way much higher. And that's because people actually gave a fuck. Now, Raw's in the twos. And what does Vince think about that? Nothing. He just thinks it's some kind of trend. His main solution to fix that is to bring back former stars. <laughs> that's not going to help, Vince. Your show is still PG and your story writers still suck dick. Yeah, sometimes your ratings will go up just a little bit thanks to those part-timers, but it's not going to make it skyrocket like it did back in the day. And besides, you relying on former stars just shows you that you don't have any fresh young stars of your own. That's because they have no character like the ones from the past. And it's all your fault, you fucking cocksucking shit sucker. Ugh, what the fuck, man? I can't figure out why the USA Network hasn't kicked this show off the air yet. Fuck. This is completely senile and batshit insane. True, man. Vince is a bitch with a major itch. I hope WWE keeps getting even more more slow ratings. I'm tired of shit. If the company is not going to improve, then let it rot. It's nothing now but a big pile of dick eggs. Serves them right for giving us so much shit over the years. Anyway, let's talk about something else. Hulk Hogan. Now, this guy was the main reason why people got into wrestling in the first place. Hulk Hogan was a larger-than-life superstar that people looked up to. The kids and the adults. If it weren't for Hulk Hogan, we wouldn't have a WrestleMania. If it weren't for Hulk Hogan, the WWE would have never got as big as it did. Hulk Hogan made the WWE billions of dollars. He is the fucking main reason why people even want to become wrestlers. And that can't be denied. But one day, one fucking day, Terry Bollea said the N-word. Now this was behind closed doors. But it was recorded and released to the public by some fucking douchebag. So WWE fires Hulk Hogan, the character, and removes him from the Hall of Fame. Yes, him saying the N-word was fucked up. I'm not defending that. But trying to erase Hulk Hogan from history? What a big pile of moose fuck! Yeah man, this shit really pisses me off! Fuck WWE! Bunch of hypocrites! It's okay if Vince McAsshoe says the N-word on my television in front of Booker T because it was for entertainment purposes. But when Hulk Hogan says it in real life, holy shit! It's worse than Hitler killing millions of Jews! The fucking hypocrisy, man! I fucking hate this company so much! <sighs> Makes me sick! And a little sad. <laughs> Yeah, I know how you feel, man. Makes me want to cry, too. <laughs> anyway, Green, let's talk about the PG Defenders saying WWE won't get better if it went back to TV-14. Yes, people actually say WWE going back to TV-14 is not going to make things better. Really? How do you all know? I guarantee I'm fucking tell you all, it would be a big fucking improvement than the shit WWE is giving us today. No joke. If WWE announced that they were going back to TV 14 next week, holy shit, a lot of wrestling fans will be coming back to tune in, and I'm willing to bank on it. Also, TV 14 will make the retarded PG story writers write more edgy stuff. You know, because they wouldn't have the PG restrictions anymore? Exactly. These bullshit creative asses feel that they have to write in these PG duck shit storylines. And it's all because of the PG rating. Now, right before WWE turned PG in 2008, the stories weren't the best, okay? They weren't the best. But guess what? The show was still watchable. And it was way better than today's PG cocksucking ass shows that you're getting now. You get what I'm saying? Fuck yeah, dude! WWE going back to TV 14 now would make things better again! It would bring back lots of wrestling fans, and creative will have free of the right more edgy stuff! Also, the fucking product will improve! But when you have fans out there saying WWE going back to TV 14 is not gonna make things better again, well, the WWE's gonna take that to heart and remain PG for the rest of our fucking lives! Is that what you all want? Huh? Why don't want that shit? Ugh, it fucking pisses me off! I know, it's fucking bullshit, man. It's fucking bullshit. Anyway, let's talk about WWE's main poster boy. The compound Fruity Pebbles Yabba Dabba Bitch Ass Whore. Known as John Cena. You can't see me. Fuck this ass cancer. Worst thing to ever happen to WWE. This fuck tart has been shoved down our fucking throats for many years now. And he ran off millions of real loyal wrestling fans. And I just can't figure out why Vince put this fucker on the main top for so long. But Cena Tars are gonna say, Well, John Cena works hard and he shows up to work every day. Yeah, and so does all the other wrestlers. Then they're gonna say, John Cena is a good person and a true role model for the kids. Number one, John Cena cheated on his wife with a porn star. Number two, he ruined Mickey James's marriage. Number three, he buried a lot of wrestlers on the roster and in the past. Number four, he's bullied people and he still does. He also tried to bury Alex Riley backstage and get him fired. What a fucking real life heel 
little donkey shit eating bastard. And the kids look up to this cocksucker. Anyway, number five, he sucks this McHitler's pussy juice. Number six, he looks like a fucking box. And number seven, he is a horrible, terrible Emory performer. Yeah, he's such a true role model for all the kids. Just shut the fuck up with that he's a good person shit. Uh, Bubba, will you take over for a second? I need to relax my brain. Okay, I'm gonna talk about John Cena and Make-A-Wish. Yes, Make-A-Wish is good. I support that. Make-A-Wish is awesome. But when John Cena does Make-A-Wish, he always does it with a goddamn camera behind him. And it makes me fucking sick. There are other celebrities out there that do Make-A-Wish, and they don't always have a camera on them. But WWE wants to make themselves look good, and all nice and innocent for the public eye. But behind the scenes, the crooked corporate fucks that don't give a shit about anyone but themselves. Fuck you, WWE, and fuck you, John Cena! Fake-ass, large-jaw, corporate bullying cocksucking bitch! Thank you for ruining wrestling, asshole! But always remember this, Cena. You will never compare to Stone Cold Steve Austin. You will never be better than The Rock! You'll never be at the level of The Undertaker! You'll never be the next Hulk Hogan! Well, hell, all the fucking WWE stars from the past are better than you! Hell, even Doink the Clown had more charisma and talent than your PG bitch ass will ever have! Everyone, the only reason why Cena is always on top is because Vince loves his baby cock like it's a fucking goddamn golden ancient treasure from Hub of the Dumbest Temple. Fuck this cancer to professional wrestling! And when people say, well you got to at least respect Cena, no I don't. I don't have to respect shit. Why the fuck should I respect someone who doesn't respect the wrestling fans? The motherfucker never turned heel for us when we booed his ass, did he? Instead, he makes fun of us on live television and actually turns his heel. Go look it up, bitches. But he is a heel in real life. And a fucking hypocrite. Also, this ass buggy can't even get a positive crowd reaction. Let's go sing a Cena sucks! And this is the main poster boy! The poster boy of the WWE! <sighs> so fucked up. And it makes zero sense why this fucker is the face of the company. He fucking sucks! Alright? He fucking sucks! And if he becomes a 16-time world champion, oh my god, the whole fucking wrestling world is going to explode with rage! I know you agree with me on that as well, Green. Fuck yeah, I do. If this goddamn playing professional wrestling ties Ric Flair's title record and then surpasses it, I'm going to jump out the fucking window. But then I'm going to get right back up and explode with fucking hellfire and brimstone! And then I'm going to march right down to WWE headquarters and set that motherfucker on fire! Then I'll piss on the ashes and say, you're fucking bullshit, man. You're fucking bullshit. Shit. I'm gonna keep trashing and booing this slack jaw cunt until he is gone from the WWE. And like I said in the past, I wouldn't care if this motherfucker ended world hunger. I would still boo his ass. Nothing this bitch does will ever make me cheer for him. Unless his character turned heel. But he said he can't turn heel because that would make him a bad guy in real life. So that just shows you all how much of a bad guy in real life he really is. Not wanting to give the real wrestling fans a reason to like him. He enjoys that baby face PG money too much to be a heel. Also, he wants to stay on top. And yeah, he has control over his own character. He is the top guy of the company and he has the most backstage power. So yeah, he's a real life corporate asshole. So fuck John Cena! I hate him! Oh, and if Cena faces The Undertaker at WrestleMania 32 in his supposed retirement match, and then he beats him? Holy fuck! No fucking army in the world is gonna be enough to stop all the real wrestling fans from blowing Cena's PG cut ass to Kingdom Come! Yeah, man, I agree. Everything involving John Cena is shit. Hell, he even ruined the WWE Championship for so many years. Remember that retarded ass spinner belt he had? Holy fuck, what a big disgrace to the WWE title. Makes me fucking sick every time I think about it. John Cena is fucking shit cheese, but he's also a crooked, boring, home wrecking, two faced, evil, rainbow dick sucking, cancer ass cum guzzling cut whore. He's only the poster boy because Vince handpicked him and shoved him down our fucking throats for so many years. But does that make him great? Hell no. Example. Let's say Vince took a live, walking, breathing piece of shit that had a mind of its own. I'm talking about a walking turd, people. But then Vince pushes that turd as the top face of the WWE. Does that make him great? Fuck no! It's only the poster boy because it was forced on us! That's exactly what John Cena is! He's a walking shit turd! He's WWE's main poster boy, yes! But that's only because he was shoved down our fucking throats! Like a nasty long horse dick! No one likes this ass muncher! Only the brainwashed little kids! But anyway, we can think of millions of other reasons why this son of a bitch sucks! But then this video will be 10 hours long! So let's just stop talking about that cancer and move on to our last topic! I agree, man. Fuck Cena and fuck his C-Nation defenders. Everything this fucker touched turns to shit. Also, you have these psychopath Cena defenders say, Cena is the best. Leave him alone. Newsflash, motherfuckers. This channel is a Cena bashing channel. But please, tell us. What is Cena the best at? Really? What?
what, getting the most booze than any other wrestler in history? Or he does make a wish and he works hard? Like I said, so does all the other wrestlers. So shut the fuck up and go support someone that loves John Cena and thinks he's the best. I recommend, uh, Peck Celebon Peter. Good channel for you Cena defending psychopaths. So yeah, John Cena's a little rainbow bitch. And if you Cena defenders have a problem with that, then you can all lick my ass. Uh, Green, do you really want to do that, buddy? No! But I do want to mention one more thing about this slack job, motherfucker. Then we can move on. His entrance. It's gay! Before he comes out, you hear... And that shit really gets annoying. But then John Cena comes out. Then he looks into the camera and says a bunch of retarded gibberish. I'm looking into the camera and I'm gonna go bury some wrestlers. Yeah! And then he runs down to the ring like a fucking dumbass. I wish this fucker would just trip one time as he's running and shatter his large jaw fat fucking face onto hell. Then the little C-Nation kids will go, <laughs> Fuck John Cena the character and fuck John Cena the person! Deal with it, Cena lovers! Maybe if you all pray hard enough, Cena will give you his penis for Christmas! Ha <laughs> ha! Good one, man! Alright then, enough about Cena! It's time to bash the main cancer and bowl and cum drinker himself! Vince McMahon! But as we like to call at the moment, Vince McHitler! Now this son of a bitch is 70 years old! He's 70 fucking years old! And he refuses to pass the torch to someone that cares about the company more than he does! This cocksucker used to be a genius! Now he's a bitch! He even had the balls the size of grapefruits! Now he has a grandma pussy! And he doesn't give a fuck about the wrestling fans anymore. All he thinks about is PG, unicorns, and rainbows. And we hate him. This motherfucker doesn't know what's good for business anymore. He's out of touch. He's senile. He's fucked up in the head. He ruins careers. And he thinks he's all high and mighty. He wants to be like Walt Disney. But here's the difference, bitch. Walt Disney never owned a wrestling company. You do. Call it entertainment all you want. But you own a fucking wrestling company. A company with grown half-naked men wrestling in tots. And they look like they're fucking each other's asses at times. No joke. So no. You can't be like Walt Disney! Alright, motherfucker? Deal with it! Learn to eat shit and like the taste of it! And I mean plates and plates of shit! Because your company is shit! And your face is shit, too! You need to wake up and smell the coffee, asshole! Your company is sinking to the bottom of the ocean! And you're not doing jack shit to improve it! So get the fuck out of the WWE and go work for Mickey Mouse and let him fuck your asshole until you become his bitch! Fuck you! <laughs> yeah. Fuck Vince McGass pussy. He needs to step down. And I mean now. The son of a bitch is out of touch. He treats us wrestlers like shit. His face makes me want to puke. And he's an unseen now shit face bastard. He's done so much dirty shit in his life. He does people wrong. He pissed on his father's legacy. He shit in the fans' faces. His company is dying. No good changes are being made. The part-timers are not going to say shit. WWE needs to go back to TV14. And Vince needs to retire. Simple as that. Fuck you, bitch, you cocky prick! Oh, don't get me started on that Brad Maddox bullshit. That's one of the most retarded reasons to fire someone. Cocky pricks? Really? What dumbass retardation bullshit, man? Vince, stop acting like you're some fucking saint. Because you're not. You're one of the most evil corporate cocksuckers on the planet. And all you give a fuck about is the money. That's what he even says. It's all about the money. Your shit stinks, Vince. And it's the worst goddamn smell on this planet. Do what's best for business and go fist fuck yourself out of the WWE. Vince is nothing but a big pile of dick eggs. And he's a baby shit stain from hell. Okay, I'm done talking about this old pedophile faggot. Yeah, Vince is an asshole. Also giving false bullshit stories to stars about reaching for that brass ring. Vince, just shut the fuck up. Take your cock ring and go put it on John Cena's baby sausage. Suck it dry and die. But I will say one or two good things about you. Vince, you were great back in the day. Especially in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. So I respect all the good things you did for wrestling. Especially you giving rehab assistance to former wrestlers that got addicted to drugs. But most of those guys would have never been addicted to drugs in the first place. If you hadn't had constantly traveling on the road, putting their bodies through great pain just to satisfy your own happy ass. So there. But aside all that, the hell with you. Take a good look at yourself in the mirror, motherfucker, and say, You're fired! Okay, now we're done talking about this bitch. Now, I know there's a lot of other shit that we didn't mention on here, everyone. That's because there's way too much to talk about. This video would never get out if we had to list every single fucking thing that's wrong with WWE. But we will say this. This McPussy slut, all we got to say to you is, Fuck you!
fucking whore. Now then, give this video a thumbs up, leave your feedback, and fucking subscribe! Well, that's all the shit we have for now, everyone. I am Bubba Duck Fucking, and I'm Green Psycho 17, and we'll see you all next time. Peace out! Goodbye, bitches! Bitches!